Hey guys, Gaz here. So this video might be for you if you own retro consoles, if you're looking to connect them up to be able to record or to be able to stream. You're wondering how do I do that? Do I need a capture card? I've got an Elgato, how does that work? Well this video might just be for you. Who loves games? Yes mate. So, quite a lot of people say that this stuff's really techy. Oh God, I can't work with this, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you can take it from me guys, I didn't know what I was doing when I started with this stuff back in December 2018 and I learned everything myself from scratch. So hopefully I'll be able to pass on some of my knowledge to you guys, it might really help you out. And if you have got any more questions for me, after you've watched the rest of the video, I'll be able to help you out with that. You can drop stuff down in the comments, guys. If you like this video and you wanna see more material from Gaz, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So guys, when we talk about uh, a capture card, this is what I use. This is the Elgato HD60S. There's a number of different capture cards and things like this on the market. But this is the model that will enable a 1080p HD capture at 60 frames per second. Having said that, you're gonna need the right hardware to run that. Um, also, to get the 60 frames, you're going to need to have hardware that will utilize a USB 3 plugin. Uh, this is a product that will enable you to connect a device to a PC and be able to capture easily from your setup. So it's also worth talking about the rear of the box because you will see it tells you a bit about the compatibility, Windows 10 compatible, Mac, system requirements, it's going to tell you Windows 10 64 bits, um, it will tell you CPU, it says Intel i5, 4 quad core or better, uh, USB 3 port, but essentially um, you are going to need some decent hardware if you are going to connect it up. Um, but it tells you that it's compatible with PS4 and PS4 Pro, Xbox One and One S, the Nintendo Switch, and you can use it for Twitch and YouTube. Really, that is just some of the compatibility with this device, but we're going to dig a little bit deeper. So this is Gaz's Elgato HD60S, which you can see just here. I just sit this in front of my TV. Um, I've got my HD in, which if you're streaming from a current gen console, your PS4, you're able to put your HD connection straight in and then your HD connection will go straight out into your TV and then you're also going to get your cable out to your computer hardware, which will enable the capture to happen. So that is the easy part because if you're on current gen, you're using your HD cable and it'll just go from your console and straight in but the question I often get is how do you stream your original hardware and software because we all know those consoles are SD and they don't have HD cables out um, so you can see where this is positioned if I move a little bit around here um, I've got my Sega Mega Drive here uh, I've got a few other collectibles and toys around we've got my Nintendo 64 Pikachu edition. There's the brand new Pichu Amiibo, guys. I will be doing some Amiibo and toy videos at some point soon. I've uh, got my Super Nintendo, some Cacti, some other good, some other good stuff. Got my original NES down here as well. So let me now give you more information about how you're going to want to connect up these retro consoles. So I believe there is a number of different ways that you can achieve this. But essentially this is my magic piece of hardware here and it's an HD video converter. Um, there, there is a number of different ways you can do it but this works really well for me. I think this unit box here cost me about 60 UK pounds and this is essentially a SCART to HD converter 720p 1080p. But essentially what it's going to enable you to do is to plug in a SCART feed and it will take that signal and output it from the back via the HD cable, which is then what you're gonna to need to be able to plug into your Elgato. So it's the, it's the middle piece of the puzzle here that's gonna enable me to connect the console through something that is gonna give that HD connection 
and it will then enable my connection to work with retro consoles in exactly the same way it will then work if you're plugging in a PlayStation 4. So not the best looking bit of kit in the world, but this, this works really well for me. So the way I do my consoles using this converter is you have to be able to plug in via SCART. Now, not a lot of the original consoles actually had a SCART output. However, you do have um, the ability to get the cables that gives you the red, white, and the yellow plugs. So the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 actually share the same cable. Um, it's then just making sure that you do have this cable. If you're gonna use this method, you're gonna need this cable. You might be able to pick them up. I picked up another set of cables. I've got a set here for my Nintendo. I've got some other cables here, which is one a new one that I actually bought just via Amazon, and that is connected into my Mega Drive. So I'm then able to swap those cables in and out. Um, this is just a standard SCART converter plug. So your three plugs go in, this plugs in via the SCART. And essentially that is the setup, guys. So it's your console via your SCART leads into the SCART adapter, which goes into the HD upscaler, which goes out via HDMI into the Elgato. So guys, I hope that really helps give you some information about how you might be able to connect up some of your older kit and actually get to stream that via the HD connections to be able to connect that to your laptop. I then get other questions regarding how to stream because one thing is setting up the hardware and getting that rigged in. It's another thing then using software to get the capture to be able to actually push that out if you're wanting to do a YouTube video. Um, I think the trouble that we have here is there's a lot of different variables around what hardware you're actually using. It gets quite complicated. So your hardware is gonna be restrictive. You're gonna need really good internet. Um, you, you're then gonna to have to have the hardware that's gonna be able to be capable of actually having the process power to work with the signal and get that video out to YouTube or Twitch or whatever it is you're using it for. Um, so guys, if you need more information, please feel free to drop any questions down in the comments and um, it might be that I might be able to help you out a little bit more on a personal one-to-one -one level and we'll try to uh, get that sorted out to help you guys enjoy and make the most of some of your retro consoles just like Gaz does. Mainly on Throwback Thursdays, if you want the retro from me guys, you want to see some live streams, I'll see you guys on Thursday, Throwback every week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yes, mate.